Welcome back. Last video, I showed you how to activate the chat of accounts. Now let's start using it to post. So um, I'll just explain the structure. Like I said, you can click on any of these buttons. Just click on the master cash book and you get here. Now we have, let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine columns you have to enter data just nine columns and please it's important you complete the column the columns these two columns here voucher number and the standard web number they are not mandatory for this system however we advise you to you know include the external web numbers like invoices receipts from your vendors or invoices to customers you can enter them here then if you keep a vouching system in your office um, when you raise a cash payment voucher or a bank payment voucher, you can include the vouchers here. So, date of the transactions, let's say um, 1st of January 22. Details, just a simple narration, cash from, let's say, um, sales, for example, cash from sales then you have to select the cash and bank account is it coming into petty cash good bank limited fine bank limited which of the banks are you receiving the cash into i'll just choose general bank plc now who is paying the money it could be your customer that paid the money okay or a deposit from cash sales whatever it may be just put the beneficiary there i just put a name goodwill shop for example whatever it is now if there is a received voucher number you have you can put it there otherwise empty i'll just put receive voucher 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. you know any number is fine there then maybe there is a an invoice you sent to the customer that they paid for you can just put the voucher number there whatever it is i'll just put something there okay then the amount that you received into that bank I received 1 million into the bank. Now, very important, the type. Is it cash inflow or cash outflow? Cash inflow is when you receive money into any of your banks or your cash. And cash outflow when you pay money out of your bank or your cash. And I choose cash inflow. Now, posting number, where am I posting this to? Is it to sales? Is it to a debtor's account? Is it to um, where? So I'm posting it to one of my sales accounts. So I'll go to my chart of account summary. The practice here, what I do is I print this out and paste somewhere in my office or just keep on my desk. So I can just pick the numbers from here. So I just choose uh, my sales number is 21. Use the posting number. I just go here and I just type 21 and I'm fine. You see debit 1 million, balance 1 million. You have 1 million in balance right now from this transaction. Let's say the next day, 2nd of January 22. Then I paid for transport, for example, or for flight. It's a flight. Then I, I'm paying from the same bank, General Bank Limited, uh, General Bank PLC. Now I'm paying to Uphill Travels. Then my PV, that's payment voucher. One. And there was an invoice I'm paying for from the clients, maybe invoice. For example, and I'm paying two fifty thousand for the flight. Now money is leaving my bank. I will choose cash outflow. Cash outflow. Cash outflow. Now what is the posting code for flights? I'll go to my chat of account. If it's on my desk, I'll just check it there. I have hotel accommodation. I have local transport. I uh, do not have anything for travels here. Yeah? 
So I'll go to my Twitter account setup and I'll include a new account name I will call Travels. Travels. So I'll come back to here, my account chart, I'll right click and I'll refresh. So now I have Travels as 42. I'll come here and I'll put 42. So you can keep updating your Twitter account as you're entering data. You know, but mind you, you have limited space of 30, so you know how to uh, calibrate it. You know, you don't just have plenty. You can merge some account names together if they are um, like like transactions. You can merge them together. So we have travels now, and it's here. Let's we have um, debt credit of 250. Our balance is now 750. You can see this um, cumulative balance is now 750 in your cash book. Let's test one of our reports. Go to Fix Asset Report. Nothing is there, but you have your account codes for Fix Asset already listed by default here. You don't have to do anything here. We have your different months already available: January, February, March, April, May, all the way to December. So, so what you do did at um, start is very important, you know, in your this system. Now we have sales. You can see already have one million credits. It says a credit item in the um, ledgers. So I have 1 million, uh, million sales for this first sales account in January. You can see it's giving you monthly report already. Go to direct cost. Nothing is here. Provided cost. We have travels already. 250 total and in January. So once you begin to use this system, it starts to populate, you know, transactions for you. So in the next video, I'm going to populate um, a lot of transactions then we're not going to the reporting and see how the reporting works so go ahead and try to populate transactions into this template now don't uh, feel free to use template and test if you've purchased before from us you can send us your, your purchase code and we can mail you a fresh one if you want a fresh one but just use it to practice and see how unique and how fast it is to use this template and keep a proper cash management system so go ahead type in your data we'll come back in the next video i'm going to type in so many transactions and we're going to see how it works but before then we'll test how to use um control account how to move from one bank to another bank and how to record that so next video we'll discuss the control account system thanks for watching and bye